I usually don't like posting my personal life on the internet, but I feel this particular story is worth sharing. I've never really liked cats, and I was always more of a dog person. That all changed when, on a summer vacation, I found her in a dumpster outside of the condo I was staying at. I got her cleaned and treated, and I even named her Luna. She has made my life 1,000 times better. Once I returned home to my apartment, I bought her a cat tree and toys and treats and all the other essentials for owning a kitten. Luna had gold fur with a few brown patches of fur scattered around her body. She had glowing green eyes and she was the sweetest thing ever. She always sat in my lap and cuddled with me on rainy nights. She's always scared of the rain and thunder, but this one night was very different. It was about halfway through spring, it was around 10 p.m. I checked the forecast and it called for rain for weeks. I was worried because I had to go to work. Apparently it was going to be hailing and flooding, so my work just called off. I was getting ready to settle in for a nice relaxing break from life until I thought about Luna. I knew she wouldn't like this just because of the rain and the thunder. She absolutely despised storms, and this night wasn't any different. I was getting ready to put on a nice movie when Luna ran onto my lap and whined. I felt really bad and I held her close while the movie played. I felt so bad I ended up giving Luna two treats that night. Me and Luna tiredly walked to our room and I collapsed on the bed and she closely followed me, shivering. I laid back and now in a blanket and held Luna on my underarm and slowly drift into a deep, deep sleep. Me and L Luna both woke up to a loud raining sound on the roof. By now, Luna had gotten used to the rain, so she wasn't as scared as she usually would be. Me and her got out of the bed and went over to the kitchen. I made myself some coffee and gave Luna her morning treat. My work still ended up giving us stuff we had to do at home, so I got ready to get on my desktop and get to work. I worked for a few hours while Luna was laid on my bed, taking time just to rest. After I finished working, I made some dinner and put on a movie. I got Luna's food ready and we both ate. We walked over to my room and we started to doze off slowly. I woke up a few hours later to a huge piece of hail hitting the roof of my apartment. I shot up out of my bed and looked around my room. I was disoriented and tired, but... That didn't stop me from realizing that Luna was gone. She was nowhere to be found. I felt a breeze on the left side of my face, and when I looked, I realized the window was open. Wait, did I seriously leave the window open? How could I be so careless and stupid? I thought to myself. I spent the rest of the night looking around my apartment, praying that somehow Luna would still be in the apartment complex but there was no luck. As days went on, I became more and more hopeless. I still could never find her. I couldn't even eat because I'm so used to waiting for Luna to be ready to eat with me. I went out hunting in the nearby woods a few days later to get my mind off of things, but this just made me even sadder. Usually when I went hunting, I let Luna go out and chase some rats or other small rodents. I saw a small mouse scurry under a leaf, and all I could think about was Luna. Right after I saw that, I started to walk back home. When I was about halfway home, I heard a weird howling sound mixed with a weird, low grumble. I was understandably disturbed by what I heard, but I kind of just brushed it off and walked away for a few seconds. I arrived back at my apartment and got ready to go to bed. I slowly drifted off to sleep and I even had a dream that night. Luna came back, and she was safe and warm and loved me more than anything. I hugged her for what felt like hours on end. I woke up drenched in sweat, with rain still coming down under my town. I almost thought it was still night until I glanced at the clock. 10.27 a.m. What? It's still dark out. Is it that foggy and rainy? I got ready to lay back down and have a nice rest day until I heard clawing. Clawing at my apartment door. 
I got up and trembled at the door. So tired, I thought, as I looked through the people. Nothing. I cracked open the door just a little so I could see, but nothing could see in. And I saw Luna. She was finally back. But for whatever reason, she didn't look the same. Her beautiful golden coat was now a dim orange, and her eyes glowing a pitch of soft yellow, barely noticeable without squinting. Her jaw was the worst part, crooked as hell. Half of her jaw was off of her face, hanging on for dear life. She even had some missing teeth, and she smelled of a strong stench of rotten meat. My instincts immediately jumped down and grabbed her fast, but also careful. I rushed her over to the bath to bathe her, and once I bathed her, I tried to reset her jaw. You might think this is really stupid, but I used to go to medical school, so I guess I kind of know the basics of this stuff. Once I shifted her jaw back into place, she let out the loudest scream I've ever heard. It was weirdly human-like and sounded like someone was getting gutted in my apartment. Once I was done, I grabbed some ice and put it on her jaw. I hugged her tighter than ever, but for some reason, I didn't feel safe next to her. I didn't feel the warmth of being with her. Now it's more of a chill. Every time I'm around her, I feel like I'm in a room with a damn bloodhound or something. It didn't even feel right, but I had her sleep outside of my door on a few blankets I set up. That night, as I laid down ready to rest, I couldn't help but sob in my mountain of blankets as the thunder boomed. I couldn't help but notice Luna didn't look me in the eyes even once. I feel like she wants me dead. I had trouble sleeping, but I actually got the best rest I've had in days. Probably because I know Luna is safe outside of my door. It's not the same Luna I remember, but all that matters is that Luna is safe. I woke up around 6am and I was greeted by quenching thirst. I went to grab the water on my nightstand and chugged it. I rolled over to go back to sleep, but a few minutes later is when I felt I needed to pee. I got up out of bed, ready to exit the room, when I heard Luna, Luna meowing over and over again. It sounded like it was the same meow every time. That might sound confusing, but it really didn't sound like a cat. It sounded like an audio recording of Luna meowing kept repeating over and over. Shockingly, it sounded like it was distorted and choppy as well. My urge to urinate quickly faded as I stared at the door for what felt like a decade. I slowly crept back into bed, shutting my eyes and falling asleep. I woke up at around 1.50 p.m. I finally got the courage to just open the door. I opened the door and was greeted by Luna staring at me, but it felt like she was staring right through me, like I didn't exist. Luna always used to stare at me with her beautiful eyes. We made actual eye contact. But ever since she returned, she hasn't made eye contact with me even once. I decided to give Luna three treats this morning to hopefully cheer her up or something. But she didn't even touch it. Honestly, I was thinking of just giving up Luna and getting a new cat. It's been a full week since she's returned and she was just acting so weird. I distinctly remember Luna always purred after she woke up. She didn't do it in these past weeks. Honestly, I think I know deep inside that my cat living in my apartment isn't my cat. As the days went on, I really didn't know what to do with my life. It's been a week and a half since she returned and stuff keeps getting worse. Every night before I go to sleep, I hear that weird, robotic, guttural meow repeat itself six times. The storm hasn't gotten any better either, and if anything, it feels like it's getting worse. I heard hail outside, and it is heavy. When I say heavy, I'm talking like it feels like damn meteors are falling from the sky. 
Luna's getting worse every hour now. She won't stop that stupid, annoying meow thing. It's getting really fucking annoying. I just want to get my old Luna back. The Luna I love. The Luna that loves me. The Luna that loves everything. She even loved bad things like bugs and rats. Even annoying, screaming neighbors upstairs. It was approximately two full weeks after she returned. I woke up at 3.34 a.m. to a loud banging outside of my bedroom door. I tucked into my blanket, ready for a burglar to bust in or something. But that's when I heard, it's Luna. How the hell could Luna break down my door? And even a better question is, why? At this point, I was shivering. But I wasn't going to get killed by whatever the hell that thing impersonating my cat is. I grabbed my bat and prepared for the worst. The banging became faster, faster, almost sounding like one continuous bang. Weirdly, it sounded edited, like this thing had a speaker and was shooting out random sounds just to scare me. I was getting ready to open the door and swing when the banging stopped. I sat down on the edge of my bed, slowly, not taking my eyes off the bedroom door. I watch and watch and watch. Three hours go by while I watch. I slowly crawl over to the bottom of my door and look under. I see four large paws as still as possible. That's when I hear the most disturbing thing I've ever heard in my entire life. The thing outside of my door spoke. It said it in the creepiest voice I've ever heard. I see you. As soon as I heard that, I was certain that whatever it was outside of my door wasn't Luna. I boarded up my door with a chair and continued watching the door. In the midst of everything, I actually got an hour or two of sleep. When I woke up, I checked the whole house. That thing was gone along with Luna's body. I ended up moving to a different town in a different state, and I've started a new life. I even have a new cat named Midnight. I always miss Luna, and it's still sick of me. That thing was living with me for two weeks, and it's probably still out there with Luna's body. But at the end, I'm glad I moved on. Goodbye, Luna.